Hey guys, Nick here, filling in for Rob because he's in New Orleans. We've got a bunch of new products and it's Friday, so let's talk about them. First up, we have the Magician chassis. Now, we've carried the Magician chassis for a long time. This is a minor rev. We have a couple revs this week and this is the first of them. All they've changed with the Magician chassis is they've made a couple of uh, minor hardware changes. The standoffs are a little different and uh, the encoders on the bottom are a little different than they used to be. Other than that, it's the same chassis that you know and love. Next up, we have the XB wireless kit for retail. Now, you guys have been asking about this for a while, wondering where it is, and we have it right here. This is a brand new Rev, and it comes with the new version of the Shield, which is the R3 layout, and it also comes with the latest version of our XB Explorer. This kit comes with everything that you need to get started with XB, except for the USB cable. I imagine you probably have a USB mini cable sitting around your house. Um, there are two XB radios, XB Shield, XB Explorer, and it's everything you need to get started doing serial over wireless for your wireless or Internet of Things projects. Next up, we have a new battery holder. And this is a solder-in battery holder for the 18650 lithium batteries. And these are pretty common uh, lithium ion batteries that are used in projects where you need a good amount of discharge current. So anything that has a lot of LEDs in it or anything that's running some motors, the 18650 is a great battery choice for that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these battery holders are sold in singles and you'll need two of them to hook up a battery. So you have one on either side. The nice thing about the 18650s is that you can swap them out uh, quickly in the field. You don't have to worry about little JST connectors and things like that, like on some of our lithium batteries. And these battery holders are perfect for projects where you're soldering them down to like a perf board or a custom PCB, and it gives you a nice clean look, and you don't have to worry about the battery flopping around inside the case. Next up, we have power resistors. Now, power resistors are nice when you need a resistor that can dissipate a lot of power without damaging itself. These are actually rated for up to 10 watts of power dissipation, and we carry them in this kit, which comes with five different values of resistor. It comes with one, two, four, eight, and 16 ohm resistors. Now, these are great in things like power conditioners, power supplies, amps, or a situation where you want to measure uh, current using a known resistance, and you anticipate that there's going to be a lot of power being dissipated through this package. Finally, our last new product this week is the FTDI Smart Basic. Now this is an improvement on the FTDI Basic that we've carried for a long time, and it solves a problem that you're definitely familiar with if you've been doing a lot of Arduino development. Now we all know that the Arduino Uno only has one hardware UART, that's only one hardware serial port, and you program using that serial port. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, you want to use that serial port to hook up to other hardware. And as long as the other hardware is connected to that port, you can't program the Arduino. The Arduino IDE gives you this error, an unknown response error. And then usually it takes me three to five minutes to go, oh yeah, it's not working because I have this other thing plugged into the serial port. And so you end up doing this thing where you're uploading code, you're unplugging the hardware, you upload the code, you plug the hardware back in to see if it works. It doesn't work because you're debugging, and so you change the code and you go through the whole thing over again. But what the Smart Basic does is it actually adds a switch in line with the RX and TX lines of the FTDI so that the Arduino can control whether it's connected to the USB so you can program or connected to your other piece of hardware so that it can use it in the sketch. Now the way that that works is you connect your Arduino to this side of the Smart Basic and then you connect whatever your other piece of hardware is, in this case I'm using one of our Bluetooth Mate Silvers into this side of the Smart Basic, and then you hook up your USB here for programming. Now, uh, you'll also need to connect a wire from the select pin, which is this pin right here on the FTDI Smart Basic, to one of the pins on your Arduino. I believe in our example code we use pin number two as our select pin, but it doesn't actually matter. As long as you have a digital pin hooked up, it'll work. With the FTDI Smart Basic hooked up in this way, you can program the Arduino, and then the Arduino can switch the USB port out of the equation and talk directly to this hardware. The reset lines are still hooked up from the FTDI to the Arduino, so when you go to program, it will actually assert the reset signal 
the Arduino will reset and switch the USB back in for programming. So you don't have to worry about this weird switching back and forth situation that you usually have to. You just l make sure that the sketch is loaded onto the Arduino such that it knows to switch the USB out, and the rest is basically done for you. If you want more information on this, we do have a full hookup guide on our website for this product under the documents. Make sure to check that out. It has all the details for how you can get this hooked up so that your Arduino development can go a lot faster when you're developing for the hardware you aren't. So that's everything for this week. We've got a couple of revs. We've got some new components. We've got our new FTDI. And Rob is going to be back next week with even more new products.